Hey guys, welcome to SP's gym. Ryan here, and we are still under basically social distancing protocols. I have no training partners, and I assume you don't either at the moment, but you can pick yourself up some Ezreal Arm Wrestling Club handles. Today I'm gonna to talk specifically about the wrist ball and the different exercises you can do with the wrist ball. Now you don't necessarily need a weight stack in front of you uh, in order to do these exercises. You can do different variations of them, whether it's a chain on the floor or a rope on the floor with some kind of weight so you can still practice in certain positions. Uh, you can rig yourself up anything that would drape over top of something so you have pressure going up and you can practice your supination. So the wrist ball, you basically have, you have two basic movements. It's either pronation or supination. Supination would be everything you can do that turns your hand into your body. Whereas pronation is turning your hand away from your body. Basically hooking or top rolling and all the different variations that you can do with those. So when you're doing supination, you can do big movements like really exaggerating, turning your hook into your shoulder. You can do it a little more open. Now, you don't always have to turn your table directly sideways to work side pressure. So if you were to have a Krazy's pulley, for example, that mounts directly in front of you, you can just turn yourself so you're still working side pressure while you're supinating. So it's working all those movements while having your hand in a compromised position due to the size of the wrist ball itself. Now, we can also do pronation, and you can do it from various different angles. This high up probably isn't ideal for pronation. I would like to have it so the line pull is directly against my hand, but that's just me personally. Sorry for the squeaky table. It is what it is. I don't have my Ezreal table yet. Or if you prefer a can opener style movement, that's how I like to train it as well. And the way I have my table set up currently is perfect for both arms. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple of other things that I came up with, well, when you have more than one of these things. So now, because I have this particular stack, I have the capacity, the ability to hook it up to both sides at once. And of course, throw in dynamic and static exercises in your workouts. So get as tight as you can. And just holding that weight. Now that was pronation with both of them. Supination, no different.
two-handed exercises I recommend as finishers. Now, if you only have one weight stack, you can put anything in between these things to attach them. So this is the variation. If you only have weight from the floor or one handle, you can still use both of these at the same time. I came up with this about 30 seconds ago and it works just fine for that. And it's not even attached. There you have it. That's Real Arm Wrestling Club, Burris Ball. If you don't have one yet, go and get one, or better yet, get two. Now instead of completely doing another video on the next handle I'm going to show you, I will just add it into this video because it is the Ezreal Arm Wrestling Club elliptic wrist ball. So it's a little more ergonomically correct when you're gripping it. Now all the exercises you just saw can be done either on the wrist ball or on this one. Now. I also recommend buying this and buying actually two of them so you can do all the stuff we just went through, but it's a matter of personal preference and I actually recommend getting both of them.